Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Happy Saturday. <sighs> Am I even gonna post this on Saturday? I don't even know. Hopefully we post this on Saturday. Happy Saturday if you're watching this or happy Sunday if I decide to post this tomorrow. We shall see. Anyways, you guys, I am so happy it is finally the weekend. My goodness, has this been a crazy week. Like, it's almost been a little bit of a sh show, I must say. Something happened yesterday, which I think I'll probably talk about probably next week, and I'll spill all the tea for you guys. But yeah, something major did happen yesterday, which I'm over here just kind of like, all right, we can play a game then. I'll tell you guys more about what happened yesterday, probably within like the next week, week and a half or so. I just need to process a couple things. I am feeling good about like what happened with like the whole car accident situation and everything. Like everything like looks fine and two days ago I was gonna post a video but I decided not to just because my body was really just killing me that day and I feel great now but I don't know, my body was just a little sore. Like, my neck was hurting, my back was hurting, but we're all good now. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that commented on my last video, just making sure that I was okay and everything. Thank you so much, it means a lot. But anyways, you guys, for today's video, we have a huge Bath & Body Works unboxing. There are a bunch of items in this box, and I don't really remember everything that I ordered. And we also have a, another, like, special unboxing. So, one of my Instagram friends, um, Ashley Ruth. So she posts like a lot of like Bath and Body Works content over on her Instagram. She does a bunch of like, Instagram lives and such like that. An amazing person, an amazing reviewer. So I would definitely go check her out. Her Instagram is going to be down in the description below. Um, she also just started a YouTube channel as well. So I'm also going to have her YouTube channel down below for you guys to go check out. But she was doing a little like candle declutter and I bought two candles from her but she also told me that she threw in a special surprise in here and so I'm really excited to see what that special surprise is. So I told her that I was going to do an unboxing on this when I film my next video. So here we are. We're going to be unboxing this bad boy right here. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's jump in right into this unboxing. Alright guys, here we are again, and Shelton does not have scissors, so we are just going to try to use our nails. Or, actually, this is actually pretty easy to unbox. Oh I need to have scissors down here for when I unbox some boxes, so I don't know why I don't, but here we are. Okay, here we are. Oh, she left a little note, you guys. Thank you for taking these off my hands. I hope you enjoy them. I'm so happy I found you on YouTube. Keep it being awesome. Ashley, P.S. Enjoy the hand sanny I added. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you are so nice. So she sent over two hand sanitizers, which I am so excited. So we have the Life is Sweet, which is pink bubble gum. And then we also have a You're the One hand sanitizer, which I do not have a You're the One hand sanitizer yet, but now I do. Thank you so much, Ashley. These are so fun. I love these. I love collecting these hand sanitizers. I think they're so much fun. And then the candles that I bought, oh my gosh. Girl, you packed these candles good. I don't think they broke. So one of the candles that I bought from her was the salted pretzel milkshake. Oh my gosh. It is a little cold right now, so I'm not getting like the full throw on it since this package just got delivered like not too long ago. But this is from 2019 and this was one of like my favorite type of packaging from the salted pretzel milkshake um, candle. So, when I saw that she was selling this one, I was like, I'm buying that right now. So, I'm super excited for this. It's just super fun, super cute, and I just love it so much. And then the other candle that I bought from her, which I was like, oh my gosh, give that to me now. I bought a sparkling pear Rosaline candle. This is one of my favorite candles of all time, you guys. I have quite a few backups in this, and I just wanted to have more so then I can burn more of these. Oh my gosh, one of the best smelling candles that Bath & Body Works has ever come out with. This guy has notes of fresh pear slices, juicy white grapes, and sweet Riesling. This is from 2020. Seriously, so good, you guys. If you guys ever find this candle and one, you don't like it, you buy it and you give it to me, or you keep it for yourself if you love it. <laughs> It's seriously so good. So thank you so much, Ashley, for sending those to me. Um, it was such a fun little gift. I thank you. And now moving into our actual Bath and Body Works unboxing. One I should have gotten. I should have just gotten up right now and gotten scissors, but it's fine. 
They only put one piece of tape on here. So secure. Ten items, I believe. We shall see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I placed this order when Bath & Body Works was doing the two free gifts. It was the fresh coconut caught in wallflower refill as well as the plug, which is in this little bag right here. So let's just take those out first. And it was also free shipping on orders over $50. Um, but yeah, so we have the wallflower right here. This guy has notes of coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. We also have this light up wallflower. I think I have one that looks like this, but this also has like the adjustment adjustments on the side, which my other one does not. But yeah, just a fun little plug. Finally picked up the rest of the brunch collection. I've been lacking on it. Um, but I got the Whipped Berry Meringue Body Spray as well as the Bubbly Rosé Body Spray. Um, whipped Berry Meringue has notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And Bubbly Rosé has pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry. I just needed these two scents left to complete my collection. Collection. And then I also picked up a Whipped Berry Meringue Shower Gel. So we have that right here. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up the Confetti Daydream Shower Gel as well. I think I already have a Confetti Daydream Shower Gel. So I don't even know why I placed an order. I don't even know why I picked this one up. I think I just needed more body care to like complete my buy three, get three type of deal. There are no notes on this guy. So I don't have those for you guys, sadly. So I finally got the Honolulu Sun Body Care. So this has notes of Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood. Um, this is an online exclusive, so I was like, might as well just buy it right now. I'm gonna spray it a little bit, see how we like it. Um, I'll probably end up doing a full review on this guy sometime within the next week, but let's see. That's nice. Okay, that is nice. I like that. It's like, let's see, let's read the notes again. Fresh Island, Coconut, Pacific, Palm, and Driftwood. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm getting a whole lot of driftwood in the body care, but definitely a lot of coconut for sure. And I do like coconut, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, I also picked up the Salt Water Breeze. Um, this has fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. Um, I saw on Instagram that Waikiki Beach Coconut and Fiji Guava Teeny is also coming out in like this collection right here. Um, these are all the sprays that I have right now or all the ones that were supposedly out, but they're coming out with two more, which I'm kind of confused about because they have it out in the faceted, but I don't know. I don't know what Bath & Body Works is doing right now. Not my business, though. I also picked up a Fresh Cut Lilacs Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, I don't have this one yet in my collection, so I just wanted to get it to have in my collection. This guy has lilac, bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this. Spring is coming up, even though it's literally snowing like crazy outside right now. Mmm. Super fresh, super nice. I like that one a lot. Um, looks like I also picked up a Honolulu Sun body cream. Um, perfect, so I can do a full on review with that. Um, I also picked up a Sunshine Mimosa shower gel, which I'm excited about. Um, no notes on this guy as well, so sorry about that. Picked up a A Thousand Wishes For You. This is the limited edition for the Lunar New Year or whatever collection. I don't, is it the Lunar New Year, I think? is what it was. It's just a repackage of A Thousand Christmas Wishes, but again, just to have in my collection, this one has a celebratory blend of pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. A limited edition design that celebrates all the joyous moments of a prosperous new year. I wish they would have done a new scent for this instead of doing a repackage. I don't understand why they're doing so many repackages, but oh well. Um, I also have a white t-shirt shower gel. This guy has notes of crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. I'm glad that they actually put plastic all over this so it doesn't open or leak. So that's super nice. Um, we also have a fresh coconut and cotton shower gel as well. This guy has notes of coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. And then we also have a fresh getaway shower gel, which has notes of bright yuzu citrus, fresh ocean air. We have two more items left. One bean, which I was just, I don't know, I did not need this whatsoever, but I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it and use a free gift reward on it. It's like this, like, 
keychain type thing. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's a light up safety keychain, pocket back holder, whistle sound, and light door opener, button presser, helps avoid germs. Okay, so we have this to like push buttons and like open doors so then you're not touching it with your hands, but I'm like, this is gonna get covered in bacteria anyway, so I'm just gonna use my hands. So I don't, I, I, I don't know, I just don't understand the whole purpose on this thing. Like, I've seen them with like other brands and just other little like small businesses. I don't really understand this. I don't. And that's just my opinion. Like, if you use it, great, but I don't think I'll ever be using this thing. But yeah, we also have a pocket back holder right here. We have a safety whistle, and then we also have a nice little light in the shape of a heart there we go nice little pink light moment and then the last item that I got I got this visor clip this is a cloud gave me like some euphoria vibes with like all the little gems and like the drippy action going on um, I don't know I thought this was super cute that I just had to get it I wish it would have been a visor clip or not a visor clip. I wish it would have been a vent clip instead of a visor clip. I just prefer the vent clips more. I think they work better. Um, I just wish Bath and Body Works would make it so we could use the visor and the vent clips. Like, you could choose what you want on one. They only do that every now and then, not all the time, which I think they should. All right, you guys, so that was today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and my goodness, I have a lot of reviewing to start getting done. There's a lot to review, a lot going on, and my room is a mess. Don't be fooled with this background. My, my room is actually super duper messy right now. It's all just shoved on the other side of this camera. Also, one quick thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, I placed a small KKW fragrance order last week, and those fragrances came in, so she was doing a a little sale on the hearts um, fragrances so we have wifey and then we also have bay I just had to pick them up because they were on sale and I've always wanted these ones the bay one smells like a Bath and Body Works fragrance that I have but I really don't know what it is but it smells super familiar so I'll have to try to find that fragrance and see if I can like compare it or something and then we also have wifey which is definitely more of a floral fresh type of clean type of scent. I don't know. I really like this one a lot. Wifey is definitely my favorite out of the two. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.